The Murder of Roger Ackroyd is a 1926 mystery novel by Agatha Christie. The book is the third of Christie's novels to feature the character of Hercule Poirot, a detective who appears frequently in her work. In the novel, Poirot comes out of retirement to investigate the murder of Roger Ackroyd, a wealthy widower who is well known in his small village. Known for its twist ending, the novel was well received by critics at the time of its release. In 2013, the British Crime Writers Association voted it the best crime novel of all time. The novel begins with the narrator, Dr. James Shepard, returning home from visiting Mrs. Ferrars, who died in her sleep the night before. Although the cause of her death seemed to be an accidental overdose of Veronal, a sleeping drug, both Shepard and his sister Caroline suspect suicide. Mrs. Ferrars is rumored to have poisoned her alcoholic husband, who passed away a year before she did. It is also rumored in the small village of King's Abbot that Mrs. Ferrars was romantically involved with a widower named Roger Ackroyd, who lives in the Fernley Park estate and whose deceased wife was also a heavy drinker. The wealthy Ackroyd lives with his stepson, Ralph Payton, his recently widowed sister-in-law, Mrs. Cecil Ackroyd, and Mrs. Ackroyd's daughter, Flora. Also residing in the estate are several servants, including Ackroyd's butler Parker and Miss Russell, the housekeeper. One night, Shepard goes to Fernley Park to have dinner with Ackroyd, Mrs. Ackroyd, Flora, his personal secretary Jeffrey Raymond, and a big game hunter named Blunt. After dinner, Shepard meets privately with Ackroyd in his study, where Ackroyd reveals to him that Mrs. Ferrars was being blackmailed by someone who knew she had poisoned her husband. Parker, the butler, comes in to deliver a letter to Ackroyd sent to him by Mrs. Ferrars before she died. She writes in the letter that she will reveal the name of her blackmailer. Ackroyd asks to finish reading the letter in private, so Shepard leaves. Outside the gates of the home, he runs into a stranger who asks him for directions to Fernley Park. When Shepard arrives home, he receives a phone call from Parker telling him that Ackroyd has been murdered. After rushing back to Fernley Park, however, Shepard discovers that Parker had not placed any such call. The two men find Ackroyd dead in his study a metal dagger sticking out of his neck. Shepard notices that the letter from Mrs. Ferrars is gone. The police are called, and all the residents of the house, Mrs. Ackroyd, Flora, Miss Russell, Parker, Blunt, Raymond, and a parlor maid named Ursula Bourne, are questioned as to their whereabouts at the time of the murder. However, it seems as if all except Ursula have alibis. Ralph Payton, on the other hand, is nowhere to be found. Flora convinces Shepard to ask Hercule Poirot, the retired detective and Shepard's next-door neighbor, to help investigate her uncle's murder. Poirot accepts the task and comes out of retirement. He asks Shepard what time he met the stranger outside the gates of Fernley Park, and discovers a goose quill and a ring with the inscription, From Art, in the house. He discovers that a chair in Ackroyd's study had been moved between the time Shepard visited him and the time his body was found. He also discovers that Ackroyd had purchased a dictaphone shortly before his murder. The police trace the call that was made to Shepard soon after Ackroyd's death to a public telephone at King Abbott's train station. Shepard decides to keep a record of the case as it develops. As Poirot investigates the murder, the secrets of many of Fernley Park's residents are revealed. The quill contains heroin and belongs to the stranger whom Shepard met at the gates, who happens to be Miss Russell's illegitimate son, Charles Kent. Flora confesses that she had stolen money from her uncle's bedroom, and that she had initially lied about her whereabouts on the night of his murder. Blunt reveals that he is in love with Flora, and lies to try to protect her from suspicion. Ursula Bourne reveals that she is secretly married to Ralph Payton, and that the ring with the from our inscription had been a wedding gift. The two felt compelled to keep their marriage a secret because of the class differences between Ralph and Ursula, a lowly housekeeper. Ralph is suspected to be the murderer since his footprints were found outside the window of his stepfather's study. Blunt recalls that he overheard Ackroyd talking to someone in his study after Shepard left, and that person is believed to be Ralph. Poirot finds out that Ackroyd had left money to Ralph, Flora, and Raymond in his will and thus all three of them had something to gain from Ackroyd's death. Poirot invites everyone to a meeting at his home, where he announces that he has solved the case. After rehashing the evidence that he has discovered, Poirot accuses Shepard of not being completely honest with him. Shepard confesses that he ran into Ralph in the street shortly after the murder and helped hide him in a mental institution in case he was blamed for the act. Ralph defends Shepard's actions, 
saying Shepard was only trying to protect him. Poirot says the real murderer needs to come forward to clear Ralph's name. After receiving a telegram, Poirot says that it confirms the identity of the murderer and that he will give all his information to the police in the morning. He then dismisses the meeting, but asks Shepard to stay behind. When they are alone, Poirot accuses Shepard of being the murderer. According to Poirot, Shepard was blackmailing Mrs. Ferrars and killed Ackroyd to keep him from reading the letter. He then played a recording of Ackroyd's voice on the dictaphone to make it appear as if he was speaking to someone and pulled out a chair to hide the dictaphone from view. After taking the letter from Ackroyd, he planted footprints outside the study window to frame Ralph before meeting Charles Kent at the front gates. Shepard later instructed a patient to call him from the train station so that he would have a reason to go back to Fernley Park which the telegram confirmed. As one of the first to discover Ackroyd's body, Shepard managed to put the dictaphone in his bag and take it away before anyone saw it. Although Shepard denies all of this at first, he eventually confesses that Poirot has discovered the truth. Poirot tells Shepard that he will reveal what he knows to the police in the morning and that Shepard should go home and finish his manuscript. Shepard does, addressing the completed manuscript to Poirot. He then kills himself with an overdose of Veronal, the same method by which Mrs. Ferrars had died. The major recurring themes of the novel include crime, intrigue, secrets, social class, and the role of nature versus nurture and circumstance in making a murderer. The novel also paints a vivid picture of British upper-class society during Christie's time, and reveals the dark secrets that often lurked beneath the polished veneer. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.